In this video, we're going to cover Wad D. For the warm up, you're going to do three rounds of high knees, 20 high knees, 10 burpees, and then 10 scorpions left and right. So you're going to actually do uh, just five on each side, 10 total. All right, so 20 high knees, make sure you get those knees up to about waist level. Then for the burpees, we know this movement. We especially know this after Dolores. Hands overhead, make sure you clap. And then 10 left, right scorpions, you're gonna come down. Put one arm straight, bring the opposite leg up and over, touch the ground, then switch the side. That's two, three, and four. All right, and you're gonna go all the way to 10 for that. You'll do that for three rounds. For the workout itself, five rounds, 400 meter run, if you can go outside, 500 meter row, or 1200 meter bike. Uh, if you have a bicycle at home, uh, you should be able to use something like Strava, or maybe even just Google Maps, something like that, to be able to get a distance around the block to do that. Um, then one minute following is push-ups. For RX Plus, you're gonna do clapping push-ups. So that's a clap at the top. So you come down, make sure you get that full range of motion all the way on the ground, come up. All right, and uh, no, not straight. Score is minus one second per push-up completed within that one minute time frame. So you'll do this for five rounds and then subtract one second for every push-up you were able to do within a minute on each of those rounds and that'll be what you score in Wattify. Then, for strength, if you are able, we're doing deadlift, it'll be five sets of five, uh, with whatever object you have, obviously if you have a barbell or something, then do that, but otherwise, you're just doing that deadlift with anything that you have to try to weight the movement. All right, good luck out there. For strength today, you'll be doing a single arm dumbbell or kettlebell press. It is supposed to be a strict press, but Depending on whatever weight you got at home, you may need to actually do like a push press to be able to uh, get the weight up there. Now what we're looking for is four sets of 10 on each side. So it's gonna be a dumbbell or even a kettlebell up at shoulder height, and you're just pushing straight up, trying to bring the bicep up by the ear to be in a straight line. Okay, all the way down, and all the way up. All right, and then the next movement would be a strict dumbbell hammer curl. Okay, hammer curl, instead of having the palm facing forward, you're actually gonna face it to the inside. All right, so that dumbbell head will come up and essentially you'll just touch the shoulder and then right back down at full extension, all the way up and then all the way down. The reason we say strict here is because it is easy to try to get that swing in there and use the body. You wanna try not to have to do that swing. You wanna try to just do a strict arm only hammer curl. 